This is a Game Caviar production. All right, first and foremost, I got some things. Uh, I've made myself the Crisis 3 YouTube ambassador. Uh, I'm going to be making Crisis 3 to point, and I do ambassador type shit for Crisis 3. I'm going to make myself the uh, number one point of contact between uh, any player of Crisis 3 and Crytek. So if you got any problems with Crisis 3, let me know. And I will make sure that they receive it and that it will be duly noted. Now, <clears throat> this isn't anything official, of course. Uh, I know that you guys, I don't know, somebody might have just, because I know I sold it pretty well. But anyway, this is the mode in Crisis 3 where it's just uh, like human against human, I guess, or whatever it's called, rebels against... Uh, SWAT team or whatever basically you don't have any perks you have attachments but you don't have the cry suit I fell in love with this match I mean this this match type this mode or whatever and it's really fun if you have played Homefront or or are familiar with the game and don't know that Crytek is uh, making the next Homefront game then let me tell you Crytek is making the next Homefront game. Homefront was a first-person shooter that I loved. I've made plenty of videos about it, and I played, put plenty of hours into the game. The game wasn't bad. The multiplayer wasn't bad at all, but the studio that made it ended up going out of business, I believe. So Crytek picked up the game, thank God, and they're making a sequel for it. Now, what does that have to do with Crisis 3? I believe that the online variant of Homefront 2 will be... Um, look at this dumb move right here will be just like this game mode different uh, user interface and everything and different HUD but the basics of what that game will be should look and play similar to what this is right now this game mode with SWAT versus rebels uh, whatever it's called secondly the compound bow in this game is absolutely ridiculous. If they need to nerf any gun, any weapon in this game, it shouldn't be the Alpha Jackal. It needs to be the compound bow. First of all, the reload is too damn fast. I know this is supposed to be in the future, but there's the, the way the compound bow is set up, it's not set up to be reloaded as quickly as it is in this game. No matter how futuristic they are trying to make this game, it's unrealistic. Uh, I know I have a compound bow. I've shot compound bows for plenty of years. Shot his face off just now. And the thing is, it is powerful, but you cannot reload that thing quickly enough. Not as quick as they are in this game. Second of all, they need to make it to where if you use the compound bow, you may not use that weapon again for five, at least five rounds. People are spamming the hell out of that weapon, and it's very annoying. And uh, there was a guy in here named like Pollock Jake Jake. He's a certified camping bitch. And uh, that's all he did. This dude was like 24 and 17. And he didn't play the objective at all. And all he did was camp with the damn bow and shoot people. He got me a bunch of times. And I was like, man, I, I can't. I don't know. I can. I don't want to deal with it. That's what I'll say. Because I can deal with it because I love this game and I'm going to keep playing it. But I, I would rather not deal with it. So my suggestion is uh, uh, expand the reload time. Okay. And uh, either make it weaker or make it harder to aim. And if a player uses the compound bow in a match, they may not use it until five full matches have elapsed not get into a match and then quit just to get the counter i mean five full matches that's how you stop people from spamming that weapon and i'm using the alpha jackal uh the shotgun that i made a video on last night and uh you know i, I gave my thoughts about it and i don't i honestly i think the thing that they can do is with the alpha jackal keep the power the same reduce the range because i was literally picking people off from a distance and i felt that it was unfair um I, i'm not going to stop using the gun because it's amazing and I, i'm in love with the gun uh, but i do think that crytek should lower the the range of it 
it, it shouldn't be that far. It is uh, really, it, it can be a cousin of the shotguns and Modern Warfare 2. Like, I was joking about that yesterday, but I really believe that it could be uh, the, the uh, a serious cousin of Modern Warfare 2's weapons. Now, if you're wondering what's going on right here, I can't explain it. This is lag overload. Everybody froze. And I got robbed of some serious kills right here. Uh, we did a host migration, and then when everybody came back, those two guys were gone. I couldn't reload my weapon. Everything froze. Classic uh, non-dedicated server type uh, issues that you find in games like this. Dedicated servers should be required by law. And I'm dead serious because these issues with lag and hit detection and things like that, while they aren't as bad in this game, I believe that if Crisis 3 had the same community as Call of Duty, they would be uh, crippling to this game. Because when they happen, they happen big time. And it's like, the one thing, I will say that this game is really good at migrating hosts. At least in my experience while playing this game. It is really good at migrating hosts. So I will say that uh, in, in the event of some sort of serious lag problem it will snap to a new host which i like something that call of duty of course does not do all the time rarely will they migrate to a new host sometimes when they migrate to a new host it doesn't even come back to the match that does happen in this game as well so I, i'm trying to keep it as balanced as possible but overall this game is way better than call of duty Man, i haven't touched call of duty since i bought this game i don't plan on getting it I don't plan on playing it anytime soon. I have the new maps to download on the PlayStation version. And like I said, I still want to get the diamond camo for that that uh, for the SMGs. But I'm not really pressed to do that right now. Because, you know, it's just whatever. But anyway, uh, this guy, Pilot Jake Jake, or whatever his name is, he's a certified camping bitch. There he is right there. Um, this game is amazing, but I really hope uh, Crytek implements the changes that i just suggested for this game anyway as always talk to me in the comment section below and if you want to get with me in crisis 3 add not having it on uh xbox 360 let me know you did it in the comment section so i can know who to accept and we can get on and, and bust some ass anyway i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more